In this video, I will be showing you how I set up my 2018 Toyota RAV4. I had an intention of doing a cross-country trip starting from California and I wanted to stay in campgrounds. So I set up this car in a way that will allow me to sleep in it, cook, and pretty much have all that I need without having to rely on a hotel. Here's what I got. On the left side, I have my bed. It was made using fence boards, a two inch mattress, a yoga mat, and on top I have a sleeping bag. On the right, I have a pull-out drawer that I built myself in order to store pots, pans, cans, coffee, tea, and spices. It helps me to stay organized with my kitchen items. Notice the drawer has sliders, they can hold up to 200 pounds. I paid about 50 or 60 dollars for them. I put it together at a friend's backyard while I was visiting North Carolina. It was after I have taken a tiny house workshop, which helped me to feel much more comfortable handling power tools. I have a two and a half gallon water jug that I mostly use for drinking and cooking. In the back, I have a fridge. This fridge can be plugged into a 12 volt cigarette lighter or in my case, I plug it into a power bank. It also comes with an AC power cord. I use it for storing my perishable foods. Right in the front, I have a collapsible sink. It's a double use, so here I'm storing dry foods that don't need to be refrigerated. In this container, I keep all my utensils organized for the most part. And right in the corner, I have some cleaning supplies. I also carry a cutting board. This one I got in Hawaii. I took a trip there right before this road trip. I improvised the way of hanging paper towels using a small bungee cord. It's very simple and quite convenient. This is my little fan that provides some breeze in the summer nights while I'm sleeping in my car. I usually crack the windows open with a bug net so I can get some cool air but depending where I'm sleeping, some places are very hot, so just the windows open are not enough. So this little fan provides some nice breeze and it can be charged via USB. In the back of the car, I have this LED light that I attach to the trunk's door using Velcro. It is bright enough that allows me to see any items in the back of the car. And it's great if I wanna prop the door open and have some illumination in the back. In addition to that, I have this flashlight that has three-way mode. It can be charged via USB or you can let it sit out in the sun for a few hours. It has a bright setting, a medium setting, and a red flashlight that blinks. Cooking, I have a one burner stove. I find those to be more practical and they take less space in my car. In addition to that, I have one of those tiny portable stoves. They are for ideal for backpackers and I usually use them when I just want to boil water. Changing gears here, pun intended, this is my 120 watt solar panel. It's foldable, it can be propped anywhere. And I use it to charge my power bank when I'm not driving for a few days. This is a 500 watt Blue Yeti. It has a 12 volt port, AC outlets, USB ports, and it also has this monitor where you can see how much power you're getting from your solar panel. It has been a great addition for my camping trips as it allows me to keep my laptops charged when I'm working remotely and my fridge which is great for storing perishable foods. This green tent is a privacy tent that I use for putting my portable toilet for bathing and for changing. I have an awning that I attach to my crossbars 
this has been a wonderful addition as well for when it's raining i can just sit outside and enjoy the rain without getting wet on top of the car i have this basket that i use for carrying a six gallon water jug my camping chair camping table privacy tent and sometimes other items that might not fit in the car Now let's talk about privacy and mosquitoes in the back windows i have a mosquito net that helps to keep them away at night time while i'm sleeping they of course still sneak in when i have the trunk doors open but once i'm ready to go to sleep i close everything and i can crack the window open so we still get a little bit of breeze through the bug net as far as privacy i have reflectex in all the windows I did cut them to the size and shape of each window. One side I kept the original color, on the other side I spray painted black. I prefer it that way for nighttime so it keeps the windows darker. And then in the front I have a windshield sunshade. One thing I upgraded in this car were actually the tires. I installed four all-terrain tires. These are the Falcon Wild Peak and they have been great. This is the gist of my car camping setup. Whether you have a RAV4 or another SUV or any type of car and you want to get on the road and camp exploring this beautiful planet, I suggest you make a list of items you know you need. Some of the stuff you're gonna learn as you go. I do recommend you do some planning or a little bit of planning depending how long you're going to be out. In my case, I usually make a list of all the supplies I would need considering that I want to work remotely and I want to be able to carry food that needs to be refrigerated. So know your needs, make a list, get out there and enjoy this planet respectfully and don't be afraid. If you're overthinking this, know that it's very safe to be on campgrounds i'll say for the most part you know of course use your common sense your gut feeling if you're someplace that for you doesn't feel safe just get in your car and go someplace else i wish you safe travels and happy journeys thank you very much for watching <music>